very good evening my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking today I'm really so proud and happy to share with you the great news that finally we have brought a support agent to extreme trader forex signals group finally from now on you will no longer need to contact Angela at all regarding joining or renewing your membership in the service you will be able only to contact extreme trader support and they will assist and help you in joining the service of course that's going to greatly enhance the performance of the signals since angela is actually going to be totally free and focusing on the signals only nobody will be bothering her anymore with the messages nobody will be bothering her with the chit chats and wasting her time anymore angela's job from now on is going to be totally and dedicating only on sending the uh, the signals and as we can see i wanted to share with you the signals that we have sent on last friday and we had to close them earlier because there was the, uh, there was the upcoming news about the cad unemployment rate and non-farm payroll we send the announcement to close all of the trades in a small profit just to avoid any sudden movement in the market however later on all of these signals have actually reached take profit one and take profit number two they made a lot of profits some members did not actually close the trades and they have actually made really some good profits using our signals and thankfully we ended this tough week it's amazing actually what we have done this week i mean the market was really tough because of the elections in the united states even though signals did really well and we did really amazing and thankfully the members are enjoying and entertaining these profits that we we have delivered to them during this week so definitely we are doing so well and i'm very happy to see these feed feedbacks from the members and i wish them always to be in profit using our signals so if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact our support you can find their contact details in the description below this video contact them today and hopefully we will see you there all right everyone so it's official now as we have expected mr joe biden is now the next president for the united states it was really stressful election i mean we kept waiting for so many days every morning when i wake up i just look at the elections and i see this is 264 this is 214 and it's not even moving and man just give us the results already finally now after announcing the results i decided to make this video now let's see what we can do as a traders how we can expect from this market to move what are uh, the chances and opportunities that we can take as traders and how we can actually make tons of profits using the announce uh, uh, this announcement or these news so from my point of view as i have said many times uh, if mr joe biden wins the elections the usd dollar currency index is actually gonna fall and the, the gold is actually gonna continue to rise the reason for the for this is after winning uh, the election by mr mr joe biden right now the investors are gonna head to buy the gold as it's gonna be a safer option for them and the dollar right now uh, because of the un, uh, uh, going to the unknown right now it's actually going to affect the USD dollar however that's going to be on the short term I don't think it's going to be on the long run so however as the traders what are the opportunities that we can take actually uh, from the uh, forex market so first of all let's analyze the dollar the, uh, sorry the euro USD so for the euro usd i have sent the signal last uh, week on the midweek analysis video that we can start buying the pair exactly at this level of 1.18031 uh, because as i said before we are having here already attempt number one of the support let's go to the one hour time frame we had right here a first attempt of the support number one and i told you that we can actually start buying the euro usd once it's fall down to create a support number two that is exactly what happened and thankfully the pair has actually continued to rise and the signal has been triggered but however i sent uh, that the signal can be actually uh, used only in case mr uh, biden wins the elections but the pair has actually vis visited this support level before announcing the results however I really still hope that some of the members or some followers have taken this opportunity and have taken the signal and made some good profits however regardless let's now see what are the upcoming opportunities waiting for us so moving to the four hour time frame what we can notice right now is that the euro usd has reversed exactly at the resistance right here on 1.18869 now as i mentioned the euro usd is actually gonna continue the rise 
However, not for the long time or not for the long, uh, not for a, lo for a long term. That is because of the, um, as I said before many times, because of the second wave of COVID-19 that is hitting Europe right now. And uh, it's actually going to affect the euro itself. So as a result of announcing uh, the winning of Mr. Joe Biden, Euro USD is going to continue the rise. So let's see where we actually we can start buying the Euro USD. Now we need to look at the strongest support and uh, resistance levels and decide based on that where we can start actually buying the pair. Now moving to the four hour time frame, what we can see right here is we had right here a resistance on 1.18512. We can see that the pair has actually made several attempts to break out from that price level. However, every single time the market kept moving the price down and it went actually below the resistance every single time. However, finally, we can see right here the bullish breakout candle has appeared and the euro USD was finally able to make the breakout from that resistance. So therefore, we have to start buying the euro USD once it fall down to retest the same level of the resistance once it become a support level then we can start buying the pair and if that happens we are going to keep the trade running all the way until it hit the resistance right here on 1.19930 so that being said let me just try for you the level where we can start buying the pair buy the euro usd at 1.18 uh, 1.512 and the safe zone is gonna be ranging until the edge of the previous support level right here. The safe zone it might be a little bit bigger this time, 55 pips, which is really fine. Uh, let's keep in mind that no matter what happened, the market is still somehow crazy about the news of the elections. So the tech profit level is gonna be right here at the top of the previous resistance. And that's gonna be ranging for almost 142 pips of profit. Hopefully we will make them all take profit 1.19942 hopefully it's also gonna be a good signal and we will make some good profits out of it uh, you know something wait let me change the tech, the tech profit level sorry guys after now moving to the daily daily candles i decided that this is actually much more convenient tech profit level so let me just adjust it and forgive me for the inconvenience uh 1.19643 uh one Sorry, there is double one here. Let me just remove it. Bloopers while recording. Sorry, guys. So we are looking for 112 pips of profit. Hopefully also we'll make them all. Now moving to the pound USD. Now the pound USD, as I said before, is ranging because of the announcement of the lockdown in England, which has started last Thursday. And therefore the pair, as we can see right now, is ranging. However, uh, the pound right now, I think it's going to be rising, supported by the weakness of the USD dollar currency index. And after that, uh, after the results of the lockdown in England, we can see or witness uh, a falling in the pound. But not now, actually, it's going to happen, in my opinion, after a while. And I'm expecting it to happen after a week. So therefore, this week we can look actually for buying the pound and we are going to long it. So let's just see where we can start actually buying the pair. Now, as we can see, similar to the Euro USD, we can see that here we had the, res the strong resistance on 1.3099. And we can see right here also that the pair has made another attempt to break out from that level. However, finally, we can see the bullish breakout candle appeared uh, on the same level of the resistance. Now, what happened later on that the market has actually already retested that support level as we can see this candle right here it went down all the way to the previous level of the resistance and retested it and thankfully on friday night the, the market has closed actually uh, in this uh, price action with a green candle so therefore we can expect from the U-Pound usd to continue the rise right away but however we always have to be safe and avoid entering a signal right away or sorry avoid op uh, opening a trade right away without waiting the pullbacks so, th so therefore, I'm going to give you the signal that we can expect the pullback right here, uh, the attempt number two of the support, because right here, we're having a support number one. And hopefully the market is actually going to reverse right here for making the pullback and to gain some liquidity from the market. And actually after that, creating support number two, and then it's going to continue the rise. Therefore, 
we can start buying the pound USD by at 1.31077 and the safe zone shouldn't be ranging for quite long actually um, just until here I think that's that's enough until this support level right here so we can look for almost uh, it can be actually more I just want to be sure everything is uh, safe so as we can see right here, we're having here another support attempt. So we can expect from the pair inward scenarios that it's going to continue the fall just to visit the same level of the support because that support hasn't been tested yet. So therefore, the safe zone should be ranging for almost 56 pips, which is really fair enough. And let me draw for you the shape of the safe zone. And of course, let me just draw for you the target. The target is actually going to be the next resistance level. As we can see right here, we had the previous support level, which has already become a new resistance. So therefore, this is our next target. And therefore, we are actually looking for a target of 150 pips of profit. Hopefully also, my friends, we will make it. Take profit is 1.32551. Hopefully also, it's going to be a good signal and it's going to give us a lot of profits. Now let's check the AUD USD. Actually, AUD USD has made the reverse right here. If we look at the chart, we can see that the pair has actually faced a strong support level right here. Exactly right here like that. So that strong support level has actually uh, pushed the market right here. Once the market has actually visited the same level of the previous support, uh, we see that the market was ranging a lot right here. So there was so many attempts to break out from the resistance. That indicates for a weakness in that level because the market is actually making so many attempts to break out of it and eventually supported by the weakness of the USD dollar is actually going to make the breakout. So in my opinion, at the opening of the Monday at, uh, uh, for the market is actually going to continue the fall and visit the same level of the broken resistance, which was also a very strong support level right here, as we can see. Now, uh, we have to wait for the pair to fall for another 40 pips before we can start buying it. So we can start buying the AUD USD at 0 0.72214. And the safe zone shouldn't be ranging for for uh, for long for for long time. We can actually expect uh, until only hitting that previous support level, which was also near to the strong resistance. So the safe zone is going to be ranging only for 55 pips. And again, supported by the weakness of the dollar, I don't think it's going to even reach uh, that level of the safe zone. And the target this time is actually going to be the top of that resistance as well. You can notice the similarity in the signals because we're actually aiming to buy the pullback and the target is going to be the nearest resistance to our entry. That's simply my method. And thankfully, it, is, it has brought me a lot of uh, profits and I'm gaining some really good, uh, nice uh, profits using this strategy. And I'm sharing it here for uh, with you for free. So um the tech profit as i was saying is going to be the resistance on 0 0.73248 hopefully also it's going to bring us some good profits now looking at the usd cad usd cad as we can see is going to continue the fall and what we can see right now is that the usd cad has actually made the breakout from that long run support level and therefore we can see that the pair has already made the rise here creating a resistance number one and the market right now is rising and getting ready to hit the same level to create resistance number two of course we are aiming to start to, to short the market right on the resistance num the resistance number two and therefore that's going to be our signal for the usd cad to sell at one <clears throat> one point three zero nine four eight the safe zone shouldn't be ranging also for a long time. And I think, no, that's a lot, a lot. Let me just look at the left to find the strong support and resistance level. Actually, this level is good because we can see right here we had uh, previously strong support right here. And it was also a key resistance level right there as well. And therefore, the safe zone should be ranging for almost 51 pips, which is fair enough. And the, take uh, the safe zone is like that. And uh, like the correct. 
let me check now for the take profit level it's actually gonna be the lowest level of the support right here uh, that's my strategy so we are looking for a profit of almost almost 100 pips or exactly 100 pips of profit hopefully we will make them so the take profit level is gonna be right here at the support level on 1.29.45 hopefully also it's gonna bring us some good profits let's now look at the usd jpy so the usd jpy has actually made already two attempts of the resistance right here as we can see on the four hour time frame we can see that the pair has actually made the bearish breakout from the support and what we can see right here is a resistance number two and right here resistance number one so that means the pair has already completed two attempts of the resistance however what we can see right here that the market has actually closed with this price action that price action usually indicating uh, a strong bullish reversal therefore and from my point of view we can expect that from the USDGPY to actually rise a little bit more just to hit that to reach that previous support level on 104 and after that it's going to continue the fall so we need to wait for the USD GPY to rise a little bit for actually 60, 60 pips before start shorting it therefore let me just uh, write it for you USD GPY should be good for the short at 104.00 just just make it accurate and the safe zone is going to be ranging until hitting the next resistance right here so the safe zone is going to be ranging for almost 47 pips um it's not really necessary to increase it that's fine so that is going to be our uh, safe zone and the take profit this time is actually going to be the support level right here the market is actually near uh, of that uh, take profit level however i believe uh, it's gonna uh, rise a little bit more just to hit our entry it's actually gonna be really a good entry and a good chance to start shorting the usd japanese yen and after that we can set the take profit level actually the take profit level can be higher than that it can be like this at this support level however i'm just trying to be realistic here and i really don't think the pair is gonna continue the fall for 200 pips and uh, maybe not this week maybe on the next week however for the meantime this is going to be our take profit level and it's, i'm just going to mark it on 100 uh, 103.057 hopefully also it's going to work out well and bring us some good and decent profits now let's look at the usd chf so for the UCCHF, what we can see right here on the daily candles that the pair has actually finally reached the strong support level on 0 0.89969. Now the pair was not yet ready to break out from that support level. And as we can see the market on Friday night, uh, the candle has closed a little bit above that support level. That means that the pair is right now ready to shoot a little bit more up to rise uh, and retest the broken support level on 0 0.90487 and from that point the pair is actually going to be good for the short and as I'm mentioning always supported by the weakness of the dollar is it's actually going to be um, forgive me for that <laughs> forgive me for that guys I keep forgetting to quit steam before recording <laughs> anyway um man i have to close the team <laughs> anyway uh the, the the pair has reversed from that uh, support level and therefore it's gonna make a pullback and retest the broken support level and then it's gonna be good for the short so uh we can start short the usd chf sell at 0 0.90487 and that the safe zone shouldn't be ranging for quite long i mean only until the until this previous support level which was also a resistance and remember we are now on the daily candles so uh, the safe zone this is going to be the safe zone as i mentioned and for the take profit level it's actually going to be below that support level um it's really hard to find the level on the usdchf right now as we can see when i zoom out the it's not clear at all actually uh let me just give you give me a moment guys okay that's better so the sub, the take profit level is gonna be the strong support level right here and right here as well it was a strong key support level and it was also a strong key resistance level remember i'm on the weekly candles so each candle here representing a whole week of of of, of that of the market so 
of course each candle is actually representing a strong support level so therefore that's gonna be our take profit level for the USDCHF and that's gonna be our signal to start shorting the pair now let's move to the gold the gold has actually made the rise exactly as I have uh, as I predicted last uh, week I told you that if Mr. Joe Biden wins the elections, we can expect from the gold to reverse exactly right here at the support level. That is exactly what happened and the gold has already started rising once we started to hear to hear the news that Mr. Joe Biden have the leads in the votes and seems like he's getting closer to uh, lead the White House. So now after winning the elections, for sure Mr. Joe Biden uh, um, oh, sorry, <laughs> I'm for sure the gold is actually going to continue the rise and what we can expect right here that the pair might fall a little bit more down to retest that broken resistance on, on 1932 and then it's going to continue the rise and of course uh, if we look at the left we can see that here we had a strong support level as well that support cannot be ignored and if we go to the four hour time frame we can see right here that this is really going to be a good entry because that support level most likely the, the gold right now is facing a strong resistance right here on 1955 and as you can see the market has actually closed as a red candle on friday night therefore we can expect from the gold to fall uh, more just to visit the same level of the broken resistance which was also a strong support in the past and therefore that's going to be really the best moment to start buying the gold and we can keep the thread running all the way until it hit the nearest on uh, the highest resistance on 1985 therefore we can start actually uh, i'm thinking to increase the entry point to be right here at the lowest level of the support as it's representing actually a support number one so we are aiming to start buying the gold at support number two all right so uh, the gold should be good for the buy at 1935.48 and the safe zone shouldn't be ranging for quite a long time i mean that's enough until the lowest level of the near of the next support as well so the safe zone can be ranging for uh 118 pips however meanwhile the take profit level is going to be higher than that it's actually going to be the top of the resistance at 1971 so we can expect no less than 365 pips of profit from uh, buying the gold hopefully so the take profit level is 1971.94 that's my signal for the gold and hopefully it's also gonna work very well now allow me please to say this word at the end of the video the results of the uh, elections in the united states hasn't been finalized yet uh, from the point of mr J uh, mr trump now there are some announcements or some the, some rumors uh, around the corner that mr trump is about to sue or open a file case against uh, joe biden and his uh, uh, winning the elections and he's pretend uh, he's actually claiming that all of these uh, results are fake and um, the the counting of the votes was not done uh, fair it, it wasn't fair and there was a lot of repeated votes and it was there was a lot of manipul manipulation happened uh, in counting the votes especially in Pennsylvania so how is this going to affect the market nobody knows yet we are not sure if the court is going to actually accept his claim and really uh, announce that the results of the uh, uh, of the elections uh, is going to be postponed or uh, re-elected again that's that's a possibility so we are not really sure what will going to happen it's up to the court and what's what's their uh, vision of uh, mr trump's uh, claims so please keep in mind that this 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 analysis i have just uh, posted for you it's based on the announcement of winning of the uh, Mr. Joe, Mr. Joe Biden winning the elections and being the president of the United States. However, if anything unexpected happens, such as the the court is going to actually cancel the results or announcing uh, um, uh, another uh, election, which is not going to happen in my opinion. But however, I'm just putting for you the scenarios we have to protect we have to actually uh, prepare for any unexpected un 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 unexpected uh, news that might actually affect these signals and um, the market right now is going to be very sensitive for these news and we have to keep our eyes open uh, 
uh, sorry, keep our ears open for any of these news. Please be be careful and no matter what happen, trade wisely and use the proper lot size of your um, trades. So in the end, I hope that is uh, going to be a very profitable and good week for everyone. And I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.